Okay, hello and welcome to another tutorial. This one is gonna be me walking through the different ways to upload files. And so the checklist item that is coming up soonest, that's coming up on December 10th, is in regards to uploading the notarized agreement. But basically this is uploading any file tutorial on our portal. So I'll talk through how to scan something airdrop it to yourself, how to combine files that are too large, change a file type, um, and anything like that. By the end, you should have a pretty good idea of how this works. And then if you have other questions after watching this, I would suggest going to either YouTube or just Googling similar stuff about things like how to change file types or whatever you're having issues with, just because I think a step-by-step -step video is always more helpful than us trying to explain over the phone or over email. So obviously if you run into big issues or you get any errors while you're trying to upload stuff, give us a call or send us an email. Um, but when it comes to this kind of thing, this should help you out. So the first thing I want to talk about is scanning in an image. You can either do um, like a traditional printer scanner um, to get it in. A lot of times that will result in a really big file size, which means you'll have to change it. So things to think about there. The other option would be to do um, a Genius Scan upload. And I've got a tutorial that I am going to insert here. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the App Store and look up Genius Scan, download it, and that's good to go. I'm gonna open it and um, allow access to my camera. Here I am with my test file. I'm gonna scan that in. It will continue to open and let you scan more images until you hit done. I'm gonna go in and change the name of this document just so I can keep things straight. This is my Genius Scan test. Um, and then I'll go in, I can change the format, have it a JPEG or a PDF. I can change the size to change resolution. But what I wanna do is go ahead and export this. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and download it to my phone from AirDrop and then I'll be good to go to go ahead and get that uploaded. Okay, now that I've done that, the other option that's also pretty simple is to do it through your Notes app if you've got an iPhone. Um, this is also simple. I don't think it comes out as well as Genius Scan, but it's also an option if you don't want to download a new app. So I will insert that here. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my Notes app and done and hit this camera at the bottom of the screen and hit scan document and go in and basically take a picture of it and then I'm going to speed this part up but you have to go in and hit all the corners what this does is it creates like a scanned image looks very similar to genius scan so I'm going to go ahead hit those three dots hit share note or send copy and then I'm going to go ahead and airdrop that to my laptop it's going to come out on the note. I'm going to pull it to the desktop and then rename it just so I know what it is. So that's how you do it. And then the final option that I would say that people do is to just upload a picture that they took on their phone. Now, a lot of times this will result in having an HEIC, which is a live photo. Um, you can only upload PDFs, PNGs, and JPGs to our portal system. And so if it's an HEIC or it's a JPEG, you're gonna have to go in and change the file type. So in order to do this, I'm gonna open with preview. And again, this is all on Mac. Um, I'm gonna go into file and I'm going to hit export. And then you can export as a PNG or a PDF. In this case, we don't want a JPEG or anything else. So I'm going to do it as, let's say, a PNG. It's going to calculate the size. This is a pretty big size for what we want. Um, this usually happens again when you're taking pictures with a nice iPhone. And so I am going to actually go in. OK, so here's that new one that I exported. Um, so actually go in right now and make this a little bit smaller. I am going to use something called 
tinypng.com. She just kind of strips away any excess um, like material and makes it too big. Okay, the file is too large still, so we can't even optimize it in a free way. So I'm gonna go in, I am going to now screenshot this. This will help, so I'm on my Mac, I'm gonna go Command Shift 4. Here we go. Screenshot the file. Here's the screenshot. I'm gonna make sure that this is still the right file type. Open with preview. File, export. Okay, there we go. It's now two megabytes instead of 13. The other thing you can do too is potentially change it to a PDF because look how much smaller that is. Um, just for this case, I'm going to keep it as a PNG. I'm going to replace our old one because I don't really want that anymore. Okay, so here it is right here. I'm now going to go in, try again, move this here. It's going to upload it. And then what this does is it compresses it. And so it will make it a lot smaller. Okay, so it's finished. It's down 76% just under 500 kilobytes. I'm gonna download that, save it as um, file type, change final. Obviously you can make it whatever you want. Um, in our backend system, it doesn't matter what you're uploading it as. So if you wanna make it um, your child's name, that's great. If you want to make it, um, I don't know anything else so that you can find it in the future that's also great if this is the authorized agreement i'm probably just going to name it um kate authorized agreement so i can make sure that i know where it is and then i'm probably going to put everything in a folder um just to make sure that i don't accidentally delete something that i need in the future so i would hang on to all these things even if you've uploaded them you can also view them once you've uploaded them so that is also helpful. Okay, so now to combine files, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna right click after I've selected both of them and I'm gonna go quick actions. I'm gonna hit create PDF. And now I'm gonna do combine file, test final. So same thing, now I have those two pages and they're in one. Um, the reason for doing this is our system will only let you upload one file so if you have let's say you're 18 or 19 year old builder and you need to submit two pages you're gonna have to go in and um combine those because it will only let you do one at a time you won't be able to do both and if you upload both the first one will overwrite the second one and we won't have all the information we need okay so this is an example from last year um that i helped upload that was an issue all these sizes are too big um, and then they also need to be combined so i'm going to go in there's a couple things i can do first thing to again look up let's see compress jpg free is what we're going to be looking for um okay so i'm going to go in upload let's just make sure yep upload files I'm gonna grab all of these, drag them into here, and hit open. What this is doing is compressing all those. And again, this is why using something like Genius Scan is gonna be super, super helpful because it will do this for you. Okay, I'm gonna hit download all. Sure, if you wanna change that file name, you can. This is gonna do it as a zip file, which basically means it's just putting it all into like a thing like this, but that's not gonna be enough. We're gonna still need to combine it into a PDF. So I'm gonna open this. It's gonna open as a file. Here we go. Okay, these are all much smaller now, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead, select all of those, go in just like we did last time, create a PDF. Okay, so here it is. It's eight megabytes, that should be fine. If you run into an error, um doing it and you need to um if it needs to be smaller than that and you're still getting an error then you can go in and 
do that screenshot route that we were doing with this file type change um, with the live photo. So that is another option. Okay, final option is, let's pull this and throw these away really quick. Um, while we're at it, toss this. Do not like having a bunch of stuff. Okay, finally, this is too large and it is a PDF. So I'm gonna go in again to get to this. I just Googled compressed PDF free. Always looking for the free stuff. If you can find applications on your computer that you've already got, that's great. But this works for me. So I'm not using it very often. Okay, I'm gonna take this PDF that's too large, pull it in, and it's gonna do basically the same thing. So we've done it for a PNG, a JPG, and a PDF, which are all the file types that we accept in our portal. Okay, too large a PDF. I want it just to be medium size. You could pay for more, but I don't want to because I don't want to pay for it. Okay, I can go ahead and download it. Too large compressed, great. It's gonna download really quick. This is three megabytes, so it should be fine with our system. Um, if you, for some reason, already have a PDF and something like this is still too big, that will happen every now and then, what I would go ahead and do and suggest is coming into here um, and screenshotting, kind of like we did with the other one, screenshotting the individual pages, putting them through something like tiny PNG or compressed JPEG, um, and then going for the route where you select all those file types and um, combine them into one. So with any of those, you should be good to go. Um, let me pull up really quick an account and I will show you what that upload process looks like. Okay, so I've got our fake account Chris pulled up. Um, I actually already uploaded his notarization earlier for a different test video but I'm gonna hit that button really quick. Um, so like it says, please only upload the following files. We don't accept live photos, document to upload. I'm gonna go in and select full builder notarization. I'm gonna go in and choose a file. Um, and then I can choose any of these things that I've done. And like you've kind of seen, especially if you're doing multiple images, I would think it's a pretty good idea to do a PDF, but you can do anything. Um, so here it is, and then I can hit upload and it will do it. I'm not going to hit upload because I've already uploaded something for him and I can view that by clicking this button right here. Oh, no. So this is going to take a second to load. Um, okay, so this is his builder agreement that I uploaded. Um, and he's good to go. And you can check in on that to make sure after you've uploaded it that you did do it correctly. And this is especially important if you've got multiple pages because we need both of those pages. Um, but yeah, that is the tutorial. So hopefully that helped. Um, hopefully you go and download Genius Scan because like I said, that's our favorite one to use. Um, it just looks great and is easy to do. Um, yeah if you have any other questions i would suggest consulting youtube and then if you're still having like weird errors or anything while you're uploading things then you can give us a call or send us an email